Okay, welcome back. So in today's episode, I want to talk to you about this concept of level ramping, which is not a term I expect you to be familiar with because frankly, I made it up. And it's a technique that I use in the planning stages and uh, perhaps there's a better name for it, but this is just what I always refer to it as. So the basic concept is, you know, to understand human beings love stories. You know, it's been hardwired into our brain since, you know, for thousands of years. and. Uh, I think our brains are developed in a such a way, I and mean, I think for most people, uh, we love suspense. It's like a drug. We, even if you know we know the ending of a movie or you know in a movie or a book, it's likely that the hero is going to make it. Uh, nevertheless, when they're in some sort of precarious situation, uh, we're kind of drawn to the edge of our seats. We're we're rooting for them. We're unsure whether they're going to make it or not even though we know they're gonna make it, but that suspense is very addicting and very satisfying. So to really master this art, um, there's a technique that I like to use, which is to start with an initial idea, uh, which most people should be able to come up with, and then expand on it, uh, which is not always easy. So you have an idea, let's say for uh, a bank robber, I know I, I use bank robbers in a lot of my examples, but let's just say it's a bank robber, but what's that story gonna be? What's the ending gonna be? What are all the action beats? It's it's not as easy. So you gotta sit there and think about it and mull over different possible scenarios and choices. So in the planning stage, what you could do is you start with your initial idea and then you just dial it up by one. So let's suppose my initial idea is a boy exploring the forest with his friend. That's I wanna write a story about that. Okay. So What's level one above a boy and his friend in a forest? Um, well, it would suck if they got lost. Okay, so at some point in the, the first act, they need to get lost. Um, if we dialed up even one notch further, what would suck being lost in a forest with your friend? It would suck if it got dark and you had to stay there overnight. Uh, then it would suck if it started to rain um, and then what if you guys went hungry and what if you guys got separated and what if, you know, one of you got attacked by a bear and, uh, then you maybe got found by a tri, you know, maybe like a, a group of campers, right? Which you think is, uh, a great, you know, you're, you're about to be saved, but what if those campers turn out to be cannibals and, uh, maybe they have your friend. So... So as you see, I'm just gradually dialing up the suspense by one. And so now I have a scene where the friend and the protagonist are reunited at this camp. Maybe they escape. Uh, maybe they're being chased. Maybe they fall into a river. Um, I don't know. I'm just making this up as I go. But the point is, as you can see, I just made that up from an initial premise of two boys in the forest. And you could tell a complete story. And you know, maybe in the end, uh, they're at the camp, they steal some gear, uh, they escape, they almost die, but then um, you know, they get swept on this river and maybe they get found and rescued, and that's the end. I just came up with a complete story in about 30 seconds, um, just simply by dialing up the suspense one notch at a time. And so I like to do this in a lot of my stories, and. I assume that other people do it. Maybe there's a term for it. I don't know. Um, I was watching a movie called The Fifth Wave, which was based on a book. I haven't read the book, but I watched the movie. And the movie does this uh, beautifully. It's The basic premise is, um, you know, these aliens come to Earth and they try to wipe out human civilization for the purposes of like colonating Earth and calling Earth their home. So the first wave is like a giant flood that wipes out, you know, millions or billions of people. I don't know all the, all the other waves, like um, that maybe they cut the power or something like that. But, but anyway, the fifth wave, there's a few survivors and they, they train a bunch, so the aliens inhabit, by the way, spoilers, they inhabit these adult humans who are actually the aliens, but you can't tell, and they're all like dressed in military garb. So um, they find these children and they train them to be soldiers and they w wear these like little helmets that convinces them, once they have the helmet on, it looks like all every other human <clears throat> uh, has an alien embedded inside them which is not true, but now it's just human against human and they're gonna kill off each other 
and then the aliens can inhabit this planet. So that's kind of their their plan. So the story follows Cassie, who uh, is this young girl played by Chloe uh, Moretz, something or other, the girl from Kick-Ass. And uh, so a mom passed away, lives with her dad and her little brother, and she's living a seemingly normal high school life. And then the opening movie, uh, this giant wave, like, wipes out all the coastal cities and almost kills her so that's maybe well that's that's a pretty severe like dialing up but that's kind of where they start but that's the three of them trying to survive what would be something that would suck in that scenario worse than already well it'd suck if maybe the dad dies well the dad does die well what would suck even worse um well it'd suck if maybe they get separated well they did get separated so now cassie is on her own trying to fend for herself well then she gets shot in the leg and then she gets kidnapped and well she gets kidnapped by this hunky guy but then he turns out to be an alien so they just keep dialing the suspense up one notch at a time so it's like when you think things could not get possibly worse a flood just kills everybody and then you lose your dad then you lose your brother then you get shot then like it, you know what I mean it's like this level ramping and they do it throughout the movie. And even like the fifth wave, like the premise of having different waves is kind of a form of level ramping. So I don't know. So you see this in like movies and literature all the time, like Walking Dead, you have Rick wakes up in the midst of a zombie apocalypse or a zombie outbreak. Uh, then he gets together with a band of people. Um, he loses some friends. He reunites as his wife, his wife dies they're carrying she's carrying the unborn uh daughter son or whatever um i actually think that baby was born but anyway that baby dies the rick gets his hand chopped off and then his other son loses an eye and then their camp gets infiltrated so the reason i bring this up this might seem obvious in storytelling but i think sometimes it's maybe tempting for new writers to just pick one idea and just ride it out until the end without thinking ahead of time. And you can like discover different levels as you go, but it's actually way easier, especially in the planning stage, to figure out where the story goes just by dialing up the level, the suspense level one, and ask yourself, given this scenario, what would suck even worse than this? And then you could be like, well, you know, it would really suck if uh, Rick lost an arm. Well, yeah, that would suck. Well, you know, it would really suck if the woman he loved gets killed. Well, you know, it would really suck if this little compound that they, they keep um, gets raided and all their food is gone. So you can kind of, just by dialing up, like asking yourself the questions in the planning stages, you can kind of figure out the story. Uh, so, you know, you might want to keep people guessing and like do something really unexpected or, or have a twist or something like that. But um, there, there might be times when you're writing where you just go, okay, I have a boy genius story and then what? Like you, maybe he's a boy genius through the entire story and there's no real suspense. And I think that could, a stronger story could be you know, what would a boy genius life be like? Well, what if this boy genius loses his gift of being a genius? Or what if he uh, loses a loved one or he gets beat up or, you know what I mean? So, I don't know, that's just my tip for today. Let me know if you do this or let me know if you do something similar. Uh, leave a comment in the section below. If you like the video, please like, uh, hit the like button. If you are not already subscribed and you wanna hear more videos where I talk about writing, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.